Right, we have some very special guests here. Obviously, we have hundreds of them, but we have three more. Can you believe it? And they're not from West Clare or East Clare. Where are you from? Oh, yeah. Clare is here, and he's on the bar on. He's from Kilkee. Next to him, we have Stoneman Dobrev, all the way from Kotel, Bulgaria. Next to him we have, you can see by the glint in his eye, he's a bit of one of those, you know. His name is Stanen, and he comes from Kotel. <laughs> I always need help with this lady's name. Her name is Zvetamira. And while I'm at it, I'd like to welcome Her Excellency, who is the Bulgarian Ambassador to Ireland, a special guest here tonight, and uh, here especially because we have these wonderful musicians all the way here. <laughs> so, Stoneman, uh, they've been visiting Berryfield School yesterday, and today it was the Grail School, and they did a little demonstration. First of all, uh, he has his instrument here is called a cabal. Kind of looks like a flute, but it's a bit more complicated than that. Next to him, Stanman is doing the. Oh, what do you call the thing again? Gadulka. Gadulka. And obviously, Dan Sveti then is playing her. Ban. Banbura. Thank you. My head is gone at this point. And they're going to play a couple of tunes here. Companies like our Bulgarian Baron Tang.
much, fantastic. So we're going to continue on now with a few polkas. First one is called We Won't Go Home Till Morning. I hope that doesn't happen. And then Sean Braddock's Sir Walsh's polka is after that. Okay? So this is going to be a lot of the Quinn crowd playing this one.
if you haven't noticed, we have another 15 or 16, I think, from the grad school here beside us. Simon, can you make your way in there, please? So the grad school are here as well. We're going to play, everybody on stage, believe it or not, is going to play a tune called Boreano Borianca. I didn't learn that yesterday. So, this, this is where we're all going to play, hopefully. And we have an intro, isn't it? Just remind me, guys. Intro, twice through. Intro, twice through. Intro, twice through. With me? Off you go.
stuff from us. Sorry, three of Right, we're going to continue now with Christine. Okay, so Christine, you ready to go? Yeah? There. We're going to continue now with a couple of slides. The first one is two or more, and the second one is a carry slide.
come to Claire. With a bit of Bulgaria throwing it every so often to make sure we're not getting lost. Oh, sorry. Great and Turkey and Andy Excuse me. I get my tour mixed up. Hearts turn off and pavements start to 
washing soda too. I'll go into some foreign shore, no longer can I stay. And with some china hot and tart, I'll throw myself away. My love, she is no foolish girl, her age it is to score. My love, she is no spinster, she's been married twice before. And I cannot say it was her will that stole me heart away. She's a washer in the laundry for one and nine a day. Oh, I never thought she would prove false or either proven true. As we sailed away to Milford Bay on board the kangaroo. Now we're going to play an Irish tune called The Rolling Wave. Hopefully as many people as possible on stage to play it. And we have an unusual finish, to say the least. At least it's more than unusual, doesn't it? Yeah. And this is a tune that we played over the Easter. Sixteen of us went down to Bulgaria, and we learned this on the way up. It's called Trilly Patty, which means three parts. Three parts of what? No idea. Okay.
Under 15 group. Take the
we have the Bulgarian trio on again. That was the other 15 group from Tithnikwila. And I'm not going to pronounce what they're going to play because it wouldn't do it any justice at all. And now they're going to have a fight. <laughs>
All right, we have a very special item coming up. Believe it or not, we're going to get a set on the stage. They're being airlifted by the rescue hot helicopter. Where are you going? Up there. there. Well, there's some of them putting on jerseys, they're talking off. Oh my god. So, a big welcome to the Hill Mehill set. Courtesy of Innes Electrical Experts or something.
Up you come, because you can find a way out. Jump. Well done. Okay. So, just before our last item, we have a couple of um, little things to do, which I'd better do now because if I don't, I'll be whatever. So, this pretty good then. Pretty good? Pretty good colour Is she in the house? Where's Pretty good? I can't see her. Is she hiding, is she? Oh, come here, three. Mock here, Mrs. Come on. This is uh, a big day for me, though, because after, is it 400 years, Brita? She's going to give us a song of fitness. So, by the I won't tell you what she just said to me. And this is for Bethany and myself and everybody behind us who has been around Bearfield for a hell of a long time. <laughs> Brida has been taking care of probably 95% of the kids from Bearfield for about 21 years officially, but a little bit longer than that. And only for her. We wouldn't have a music class, to be honest about it, because she takes care of people in terms of <laughs> finding the whistles, finding the notes, and all this kind of stuff. And she'll always ask me, did you forget? It sends me a text, you forgot this one, you forgot that one, and you forgot the other one. And as usual, she's right. So, from all of us, happy retirement. Thank you. And just to go back a little bit in time, the whole, so I'm sure a lot of people in the audience are wondering why Bulgaria? Or what is all that about? Why not Afghanistan? And the reason is this man here, Jeffrey Keaton. Can you come up here, Jeffrey, please, for a second? I'm going to embarrass him now. Jeffrey Keating is a man that I've known for about 20 years or so. And when, he, when we first got to know him, he was Consulate General to Shanghai to China, and we, we were asked to do a few little things, thanks to Fiona. And Jeffrey then moved to Sofia, and we finished up doing a few more nice things for the embassy when he was the Irish ambassador to Bulgaria. And this is just a really small way of saying thank you for making the connection to Steinman Dobrev. And she wrote the this is LB. this is for you and Jane, of course. Thanks, Jeffrey. Is it down again? Thanks again, Jeffrey. And also, um, your Excellency Ambassador, can you please come to the stage, please? Anya Andreva, and she is uh, the new, uh, I was the new Bulgarian ambassador to Ireland, and we're delighted that you're here, and delighted that you could see our crazy trio all the way from Kotel, and we're delighted that you're here tonight, as you could see a sample little piece of our culture as well. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. This is for you.
Now, guys, let me come back across the stainless here. Find you the start. We'll do our last item. You think everybody can breathe a sigh of relief? Okay. We We're going to play the Siege of Venice. Hopefully, with whistles not broken. Our last, our stuffed undershirts. I have to say that the the um, sorry, guys. The attention that people gave, obviously the children in the front row, which have been fantastic, I have to say. Well done. I want to say a special thank you to Sinead in the background over there. Well, the Emer and Mark from the Quinn and Trishine have been fantastic. grandparent who has been supporting this and we really appreciate it because these nights are a bit crazy from my point of view and Eloise's point of view who's been fantastic of course. <laughs> All of the Glore staff, I also want to say a special thank you to Anna who was doing the graphics in the backstage and everybody in Glore who have been fantastically supportive. I appreciate it. Well. Yeah, and um, if they could come back on stage, it would be nice. So I'm going to give a, a nice, big thank you to Steinman, Stanman, and Zeti. <laughs> They're not normally shy. Come on. do is we're going to play the Siege of Venice once through, hopefully, and then the Bulgarians are going to give us a little song. We're going back to the Siege of Venice, right? And then we're going to get a dance from Amy and Zoe, if they can fit on stage. Okay? 